Hey, what's everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to create this rolling transition like this. So it's this sort of like 3D rolls from one side to the next transition. It's a little bit on the advanced side, but it is a fun effect to pull off. So that is what we're gonna be doing today. So let's get started. First things first is I went ahead and imported two pieces of footage here. Um, I got them both off of Envato Elements, which is a great subscription-based service where you can get a near unlimited amount of stock footage for a monthly fee. So check it out in the link in the description below. So what we're going to do is we're going to transition from this to this. So let's go ahead and let it play for a little while. And then we're going to transition. We're basically do, be going to be doing the reverse this time. So if we go into our footage, we're going to start the transition right about, let's say right about the 15 mark. So we want this to start at the 15 as well. We're going to turn the opacity of this top layer to zero and we'll come and touch that in a second. We're then going to go to our effects and we're to look for a few different effects. The first one we're gonna add on is directional blur. The second one we want to add on is going to be the offset. And then the third one we wanna add on, and this, this you can add on it or not, it's lens distortion. The reason we're gonna be adding it on is we can do a reverse curvature, which sort of makes it look a little cooler while we spin it. Um, it allows it to sort of look sort of like we're in a 3D space spinning in a circle. So it just creates a fun effect. So once we have all three of these on, we're gonna go ahead and start at default. We're going to turn on the toggle animation for curvature. We're gonna turn it on for the shift center and we're gonna turn it on for the blur length. We want over the course of basically five frames, we wanna bring the blur length up. So we're gonna bring it up and then make sure that this direction is set to 90. That'll make it left and right like so. We want to, we'll hide that for a second so we can do the other ones. We want to spin it, so we're gonna do that in a second. And then we want to reverse the curvature a little bit. So let's go ahead and take a look here. We have basically started the transition right here. And then if we turn on the blur, you can see that it starts to blur as well. So now we need to also move it. So let's go back to the very beginning of our effect. So the beginning is all of these keyframes. And we're gonna go, let's say roughly, oh, I don't know, maybe, two seconds or so like the transition should be about maybe half a second so if we're at the 15 we'll go right about to the 110 and we're going to spin this right or my bad the left here which is the x and we're going to start spinning this and we want to spin it really quick so we're going to bring it up to something like 14,000, and you can see that's very very quick and we get a cool look and it looks like you know we're kind of spinning in the room now while this is happening we then want to look at this top layer so we want to essentially match what we just created on the bottom layer here. And we want to match that and then transition to it. So what we can do, and this is the really simple way to do it, is if we click on this bottom one, click on the lens distortion, hold the control key, that'll allow us to select our three effects, hit control C to copy them, click on the top layer, make sure you clicked on the effect controls, and then hit control V to paste them, command on a Mac. So now if we take all of these and just drag them back to the start, like so, we are essentially matching this motion. We then go to this and we go to our opacity, we animate it, and as we move forward, we animate the opacity up to 100%. We wanna go about in the middle of this transition. So we start at the 15 mark, it ends around the 110. So right about here, we want it to be at 100%. And what this is gonna do is it has now essentially transitioned our um, footage over. While we do this, we also wanna make sure that this bottom footage disappears because you can see when you blur, it's gonna blur sort of inside and outside and you're gonna get that lighter color on the bottom. We don't want that. So we are going to then take this effect and turn on the opacity. And then when we get to right around this point, we need to make this one go down to zero. And now we have this cool transition. Now we need to stop the spin and get it back to where it needs to be. So what we're gonna do is right at this last frame. So it's spinning, it's spinning, and then it stops at this last frame. Make sure you're on the top piece of footage right here. We are then going to make sure that we create a keyframe. So wherever the last frame is, it's this is the last animated frame. So we're going to drop a keyframe. Whoops, it actually had a keyframe there. So hold on. We're going to make sure that there is a keyframe there. So in this case, we need to make these all have keyframes. And we're just going to jump forward one. And then we're going to click the default buttons on all of them. What this is going to do is it's going to make sure that the footage resumes to what it's supposed to be. So 
spins, and then we are done with our transition, and it looks pretty cool. So we start here, we do a spin, and then we are somewhere else. And so that is basically how you can do this effect, um, and it's a really, really neat sort of effect over time. Thanks, everyone, for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, throw them in the comment section below. If you'd like to see more videos similar to this one, go to that subscribe button. And until next time, everyone, see ya.